guys welcome back we are at Waikiki Beach this morning and uh, we're just gonna walk around check things out but something else has happened today it is Terry's 35th birthday <laughs> so, uh, she told me the only thing that she wants is 3,000 comments and 3,000 likes so, <laughs> guys if you could help us out with that that'd be amazing but uh, we're gonna go check out the beach and then here in just a little bit we are gonna go to Pearl Harbor and uh, go on the uh, US Arizona USS, USS. Arizona yeah. tour and uh, check that out so here we go is definitely better for swimming. It's a lot calmer, hardly any waves. It's still cold though. It's cold. It's pretty chilly, huh? There's a ton of more people. It really drops. We're just hanging out here on the beach at Waikiki and some of the locals have been jumping off this pier right here close to us and Owen and the girls are gonna try it, which makes me super nervous. I don't know about this. I'm gonna watch the backpacks. All right, so there's Owen. I guess what you have to do is catch it when a wave comes in, that's when you jump. All right, here goes Owen. Oh my God. Okay, here goes Claire. Oh my God. That one got me. Armin, are you gonna do it? All right, everybody. This is like the hokey pokey right here. Right foot in, you, your right foot out, you, your <laughs> you put your right foot in, right foot out. Come on, Aussie, you can do it. And shake it out. <laughs> Aussie used to do the hokey pokey as a kid, bud. Get back here. <laughs> Another awesome tree. This thing. Unfortunately, our time at Waikiki Beach was cut short because we had reservations to come to Pearl Harbor and check this out. So we are here now. We're going to go out on this little tour, take us out to the USS Arizona, check that out, and then the museum. We are really excited about this. This is something we've wanted to do forever. We have about 15 minutes before the boat takes off to head over there to the uh, USS Arizona. So we're just going to kind of walk through these uh, museums, have a look around and uh, just kind of get ourselves informed exactly what happened. Lots and lots of history you're learning. You didn't think you were going to learn anything on this vacation, did you? And yet you are. <laughs> I think this is like a Morse code machine, but I'm not sure. How do you do this? memorial that they have here for this lots and lots of history really cool things to see right over there they have a submarine in the water 
I'll try and get closer to that after we're done with the tour, but it looks really cool. the boat we are going to load on and head out to see the sunken ship. We take a much smaller group out than used to go. So we get to spread out and enjoy our time. Did you take the same row you take at church? <laughs> Alright, we're all loaded on the ship, ready to go. We are loaded on this tour boat, getting ready to head out. We're just pulling out there real quick. Uh, I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but I believe we're gonna drive above the USS Arizona. And I think we should be able to go to the side and look down. I think that's what it's, uh, what it's gonna be. But unless you know, do you know any different? I have no idea what's gonna happen. So, We've got a bunch of sailors on board. We're just gonna take the control. See the sunken ship, and here it is. Wow, that's really not very far underneath the water at all, is it? Yeah, you can still see the oil in the water. That's that's crazy. Mom, you see that, Carm? What is it? That is the sunken ship. That ship. That is what it looks like. That's what it looked like the back in the day. Thing. It's called the USS Arizona. What? It's not, it's not that? Called. That ship, that's what it's called. Wow, I think we can go down below and see more. But you're only seeing a small portion of it. The ship is really big. So let's go down and have a look. We have entered into a room where there is over a thousand names on one wall of everyone who died that day on December 7th, 1941 on the USS Arizona. And it's pretty humbling to stand here and see all these names of people who died for us and our freedoms. Yeah, there's you know, like a thousand people right below us inside the ship still, so it is humbling. Hopefully the kids kind of recognize that and uh, are kind of moved by it, so. This is a memorial for the USS Arizona survivors that when they died, they wanted to be put in the ocean with their shipmates. This is more survivors that also were buried in the ocean with their, with their shipmates. So these people, Carmen, that are on this list. They survived, but they, they went They survived, underwater. but after they died, they wanted to be buried in the ocean with their shipmates. So these guys that are on this list are now also buried in the ocean below us. I know it's probably really hard to see, but here is more of the ship underneath the water. It's kind of hard to see it, but. We just got off the USS Arizona and we're doing a little bit more of the tour. This is like actually from the USS Arizona. This gigantic anchor. 20,000 pounds. Holy cow. That went quite a bit of moss.
Okay, here is the submarine. We're getting closer to it now. You guys can get a better look at it. This is huge. Very, very cool. All the way down there. Could you be a submariner? Never. <laughs> I'm too claustrophobic. Me but I was just taking a look at it and look kind of like the little thing that comes out of the top that like, you look out of. Is that what those two things are? Oh, well, maybe, yeah. Things on the top of those are lookouts. Oh, that hurts though. We just left Pearl Harbor and the birthday girl here is wanting some ice cream, so we decided to make a small detour before heading back home to Dave's Ice Cream. It's actually made fresh here in Hawaii, which is a plus, right? Yeah, at least they don't import it. <laughs> but don't be eating too much because we do have birthday cake back in the house. I picked up a chocolate birthday cake yesterday at Costco, so go easy right. on the ice cream. I can eat it all. You guys want some ice cream? Yeah! I know Owen doesn't. What? Hosty, do you? I don't like cake. Well, it's good because we're here for ice cream. <laughs> 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 all right, let's go inside. Dave's ice cream gets four and a half stars, and that's because it's made fresh. Right this way, you ice cream lovers. Right I'm in here. For this. Get in here to see Dave. We're getting family photos with those you trolls. You're probably able to put your face through there, but. I'm probably this guy, right? Yeah, that's you. You're Branch. That's not Branch. I don't know. Ugh. Options. You, you bay. You, you bay. What does it taste like? I don't know. We're not from around here, if you can't tell. <laughs> How do you say that? You bay. Ube. Ube. Yeah, that one is okay. That one's sweet potato. A sweet potato. Sweet potato. Wow. That's interesting. Dad. Does it taste like a sweet potato? Kind of. Really. <laughs> it's not bad. What kind do you want, Carm? I want the chocolate chip cookie dough. You tried it and you liked it? All right, sounds great. Pumpkin, it's the wrong time of year for pumpkin. Mm. Oh, not an ice cream. <laughs> Sorry, what does the honeydew get? How's that one? Just like pumpkin pie. Really? Pumpkin pie and an ice cream right there. Oh, yum. Claire, did you decide? I don't know, because it's like the honeydew has like not that much flavor, but I love honeydew. That's typical honeydew then, huh? It's like chewy. Come on, Austin. <laughs> what are you making there, bud? Tonight for Terry's birthday dinner, we are having some carne asada, and I'm also toasting this half eaten piece of bread for Austin. Right here, my man. Ooh. How's it look for you, bud? You like it like that? Nice. You want me to leave it on there for a little bit? <laughs> a little bit longer. <laughs> So Terry just ran to the store to grab a little bit of lettuce, some tomatoes, so if we can get those cut up, we can have some tacos here soon. Claire and I made it back from the store. We got all the goodies that we needed. Putting these chips that she's devouring. <laughs> all the good toppings, some guacamole, sour cream, cheese, lettuce. And Clay is cutting up the delicious carne asada. Mmm, this is like my favorite meat from Costco. This turned out to be a perfect night. We're here, we have the house all to ourselves. So I say we take our tacos and go out on the patio, sit by the ocean, and have dinner together. Y'all in agreeance? No. What? I would like to stay inside. Why? Because there's sit. mosquitoes. Let's go sit outside. We're running out of time in Hawaii. There's mosquitoes out there, mother. That's okay. But I'm scared of mosquitoes because I already have like five mosquito bites. <laughs> The lady who manages the house dropped us off some sparkling, uh, sparkling what? It's blood orange. Sparkling blood orange and sparkling Something. pink lemonade. Let's open these bad boys up. Okay, I'm not really sure how to do this. Oh. That one didn't have near the pot <laughs> that that one had. That one I thought was gonna go straight through the Yeah, it was loud. Roof. <laughs> 
Pour me up a glass. Which one do you want? A fancy cup. Uh, the blood orange. There you go. Thank you. Cheers. We're cheers him? Cheers. You have to touch cups. You almost didn't touch my cup. <laughs> No go. I don't know about that. Maybe it needs okay. ice. Maybe. Maybe it's got to be cold, like it's regular like, sparkling cider. Yeah, it has to be cold. Yummy. <laughs> Clever <Clark likes. laughs> <laughs> Dinner is over, and it's now time to sing happy birthday to Terry. I got her a tuxedo chocolate mousse cake at Costco. It is right here. It is very beautiful. <laughs> but I asked Terry to get me some candles while she's at the store. However, that did not happen. So we're gonna hold up this lighter right here that has a very large flame and she's gonna blow that out after she makes her wish. All right, everyone ready? Asti, don't burn the cake. One, two. Wait, no, wait. We have to turn off the lights. We do? Oh, yeah, let's make it dark. Not super dark. That's good, right there. Boom, dark. Okay. All right, ready? No. Two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Terry. Happy birthday to you. Blow it out. Sniff it out. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yours. You've decided that. Yay. I, did, I did that because that's how you yay that one time. Uh, yay! Avocado. It's time for cake. Grab on to What happened? I was thinking about I lost it over there, Bob. This one. <sighs> Let's hear your best yay, Asti. Come on. Come on. Let's hear yay, my best yay. All right. Yay! That's pretty good, Carm. You're probably the best yayer in the family. Out of time. We've decided you're either a yayer or you're not a yayer. <laughs> a nayer. And we are not yayers. We are not I'm not. We're not really woohooers either. <laughs> Woohoo! Now we're cool. It's, really it's a real, very large piece of cake. No, oh, it is. I mean, if you cut it smaller, it wouldn't have to be so big. <laughs> well, I'm trying to use it up. No, you, what do you want? Oh, crap. Who knows all the cake? I'm pretty sure you are. All right, how's the cake? It's great. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, Carb, you seem to have a little something on your chin there, babe. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get the napkin. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we had an amazing day celebrating Terry today. Uh, I'm gonna give it one more, yay! <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, uh, we had a great time at Pearl Harbor. We love history, and uh, we've always wanted to go there, and so we finally got that one crossed off the list. But uh, we had a fun time tonight, having dinner, sitting out by the beach, and... Uh, it was the perfect day. I couldn't have asked for a better birthday. Celebrating here in Hawaii with all my kids and my husband, it was just awesome. So, guys, if you haven't taken time yet to leave Terry a comment, wish her happy birthday, please do so now. Uh, like this video. We love you guys. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow.